Yeah, how's it going everyone? Maryland here, and that's right, it's time for more of Floaty! <laughs> Aw, Floaty's giving me a hug. It's time for more of Maryland's Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Adventure. Last time, I went through more of Victory Road, and this time, I'm gonna be checking out Route 224. Where the heck is that, you might ask? It's actually this random route off to the side of Victory Road in the Pokemon League. There's really not that much interesting here, to be honest. I mean, there is an event thing, at least in uh, Diamond Pearl Platinum, there was to get Shaman here, but it was, well, I don't ever think it was available in Diamond and Pearl. Like, I think the data was there, but yeah, in Platinum, you could get Oak's Letter. And that was cool, but yeah, that, that hasn't happened at the time of recording this. Maybe they'll do some event for it later, but for right now, we're gonna check it out anyway. There's something about you. You're not just anybody. I challenge you. But this is like such an optional place. I don't think there's really anything that good here. This is one of those places that I just notoriously skip and don't bother with. I mean, you can get leftovers in the other part of Victory Road, I guess. I got that last time, which was nice. But, I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> that's kind of the thing. So there's Poliwhirl here. I guess that's neat. Finally seeing some Pokemon that are not from the Sinnoh region being used on trainers' teams, which is nice. Their levels aren't that high. I mean, to be honest, it wasn't really that much of a problem in the older games, too. The goal right now, I want to get all my Pokemon up to level 70 or 71. That will make it easier to catch some of the legendary Pokemon, because in the original games, that wasn't really a problem. You didn't have difficulty uh, I guess like difficulty scaling if you're at a lower level than the Pokemon you're trying to catch you kind of get a penalty I don't know if that takes place with like catch rate 3 Pokemon like legendaries But you know what? I'm gonna do this anyway because <laughs> they're hard enough to catch and I think it'd be hard enough to kind of check that anyway So anyway, this is a rather I guess kind of boring route I don't think there's really anything that great. Here's a Floatzel. Not like we haven't seen Floatzel before. I'll leave Repels off for a little bit, just to kind of get a sense of what's around. Level 53, but again, you can also just go underground and find things at like level 58 or higher. Oh, everyone's 70 now, nice. Well, you know what? I haven't used you in a little while, Doorbell. Let's go ahead. I probably should get rid of the screen moves now. I've seen countless trainers and even more Pokemon, so what kind of a trainer are you? Yeah, I should put on Dazzling Gleam. At least for now, because for a lot of these random trainers, I don't need to worry about setting up screens. I'd rather have extra type coverage. I can buy all those TMs, they're very cheap. It's not a problem. I think I'll do that after this fight. I don't think I'll put Grass Knot back on, though. Or wait, do I still have Grass Knot? I think I still have Grass Knot. Okay, so I'm fine. It was Yawn, that was the other move I got rid of. But I really like the screens. They were very helpful against the Elite Four and against the Champion. Okay, well, some kinda basic Pokemon here. <laughs> Nothing really that exciting. Just some stuff. Some middle evolution stuff. Palipur. I mean, technically it's not a middle evolution. It's just Palipur, though. There we go. I see, simply outstanding. Yep, simply outstanding indeed. Okay, yeah, let's just get rid of these screens for a moment. I'll just use some uh, some kind of cheap TMs. Oh, you can't get Thunderbolt. <laughs> That's a shame. Uh, let's see, water pulp. No, 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 no. Let's just use something that I have renewable. Okay, Dazzling Gleam. Let's go ahead and teach that. Get rid of Light Screen. 
Well, I couldn't really find any other moves that I wanted to teach that are, like, renewable, so it's fine. It's not a big deal. I guess I'll keep Reflect on for now. Alright, so, more trainers! A man standing alone, I face the sea and train. Wait, there's a train over here? These fists were hewn in that way. I don't see where the train's at. I think the only train here is gonna be the pain train you're about to ride, Carl. Krogunk. Oh my gosh. Krogunk! I don't know why these trainers are so easy. It's ridiculous. And this I don't even fall really in Diamond and Shining Pearl on. I think it was that way in the originals too. It's just, it's kind of underwhelming. So again, probably a good idea to check this place out sooner rather than later. At least Machamp is kind of strong. Gives a ton of experience, I know that much. There we go. My training and my fists weren't enough to defeat you. Nope, they were not. Not even close. They were no match for Floaty. Alright, so there's probably... Wait, is there really nothing I can surf on the water for? Oh, there's all this lovely water here. You know what? There's gotta be something, right? Alright, B-Barrel. Let's see what's over here. Yeah, look at this. There's gotta be something down here. Something hiding. Yep, there it is. And it's being guarded by a tentacruel. Yep, didn't really need to catch that. So, I mean, I guess I could have. Ooh, a razor claw. That's actually really nice. So this is not the only razor claw you could have gotten. I think you can get another one in the um, Team Galactic building somewhere. But yeah, this one here this is what I've been using on Squawk, which is really nice. However, that is an item that's kind of similar to what I needed to evolve Floaty, the Razor Fang. The Razor Claw is used in a similar manner to evolve Sneasel into Weavile. So if you used yours up all the way back there, if you use yours up all the way back there, then you'll probably want another one if you have your Weavile, because it's pretty good. Increasing that critical hit chance is always nice. There's probably some items hidden on the beach here. Yeah, there's a Stardust. There's probably more items that I'm not going to find because the uh, dowsing machine really stinks in this game. There's a bag of Stardust here as well. So like you can just walk and mash A and you'll pick up some Stardust. It's pretty amazing that you can tell the difference between Stardust and just sand, right? <laughs> All right, let's move along here. I guess I've been using Doorbell. Fair amount now. Dance, let's use you. I don't care who you are. No one interferes with my treasure hunting. Oh yeah? What are you gonna do about it, huh? Ruin Maniac Larry. Oh, a Steelix. Mmm. Mmm. I'm not sure Dance can handle this. Maybe. Let's see how much high jump kick does. Steelix has so much defense. And, to be quite honest, Dance doesn't really have very much attack. Okay, I mean, that was alright. That was pretty good. Uh-oh! It's cursing! You can't do that! We keep things family-friendly here! Oh, not quite. Darn it. Double edge. Ow. That was mean. Well, at least this thing doesn't have sturdy. I know that much now. <laughs> Must have rock head. Didn't take any recoil damage. Alright, well you did it, Dance. Good job. My treasure, my Pokemon! Dude, it's okay, you can get back to treasure hunting, all right? Oh, look at you being all sneaky back here. I constantly analyze Pokemon in various battles on my laptop. You know, it's 2022. There are these things called phones that a lot of people use now, smartphones. Oh, geez, Metagross, all right. 
I mean, you can still use a laptop and a desktop, but I'm just saying, like, you know, you can probably do that on the go. You, you probably don't need to bring your laptop out here in the middle of nowhere. All right, let's switch out for Floaty, who has a ton of defense and has Earthquake, so I like those, uh, those odds against this Pokemon here, Metagross. Again, this thing is Steel Psychic, and it is very strong. It has a lot of defense. It has clear body as well. Weak to ground, weak to ghost, weak to fire, and weak to dark. But resistant to pretty much everything else, or at least a lot of other things. Gives a ton of experience though, so that's good. Things don't always work out according to my calculations. No, they don't. All right, so let's take a look here. There's all sorts of areas I need to get to. So let's go through this path here. And I guess I'll use Surf. This probably is not the, the main area I want to go, right? What goes up here? Is this? Oh, it's just a shortcut. All right. It's a shortcut in case I want to avoid this guy. I feel like that guy has an Altaria. Let's see if I'm right. My dragon Pokemon chose to become powerful here. They sure like it. Well, I've got Ice Punch, so I should be pretty good. A Swablu. Well, I mean, I was close. I feel like there was another Hayden. I feel like I saw another one somewhere. I wonder if they reused the name. I thought I saw a tweet once, like, a few weeks ago, that they reused the name somewhere. Maybe this is the one. Ah, oh, I was right! <laughs> you do have the Altaria after all. Alright, hopefully Ice Punch will be enough. This thing's pretty bulky too. It was enough! Good job, Dance. That wasn't even a crit. I mean, you know, sure it was double effective, but yeah. Your battle style. Yeah, what about it? It's been several years since I left the Dragon's Den. I've got to say, your Pokemon are in the top class for toughness. Of course they are. So there's a Destiny Knot here, which in Diamond and Pearl or Platinum is like, oh, great, kind of garbage. But this is a very useful item for Pokemon breeding because starting with Gen 6, I think it was, they really improved this and they've kept the mechanics ever since. So in this game as well, it's kind of complicated if you're not into like IV breeding and stuff, but if you know, you know, this is very good. So, great. That makes this worthwhile going to. Actually, is this a hidden item? Nope. Very worthwhile indeed. So how do I get down to those trees? That's what I want to know. Oh, Chatot! Cool, so there's Wild Chatot here. I know I kind of remarked about Wild Chatot back on Route 222, I think it was. So it's just kind of nice to see them here as well. I kind of like Chat Out. Like it's it's kind of a neat looking Pokemon. It's like a musical note. All right, so if I surf over here now, I th oh man, you know what? There's a hidden item somewhere. I remember in Diamond, like trying to find where this. Yeah, it's right there. Hidden pearl in this wall, and another hidden pearl in this wall. I'm just mashing A, by the way. So yeah, that, I remember that being such a pain, like walking around here with the good um, dowsing machine, trying to find it, and it was driving me crazy. <laughs> it was driving me absolutely bonkers. It's like, oh, where is that thing? Okay, so, oh, well, here we go. I'm at the end. So here's this rock here. The unmarked surface is polished like a mirror. Hmm. What do we do about this? Well, don't bounce on it, Floaty. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, maybe someday in the future we'll be able to actually, you know, visit that place like it was intended. I mean, it was sad they didn't have that in Diamond and Pearl. It was cool they had it in Platinum, but not a lot of people had a chance to experience that in Platinum. I'm fortunate I did. It's kind of cool, but... I know it's something that not a lot of people had an opportunity to do. Oh, there's a lot more over here. 
There's a lot more. Well, not a lot, but there's a little bit more. There's still, I see a trainer hiding in the forest there. So I need to go and see them. Although, how do we get over there? Oh, there's several trainers over there. Um, yeah, this is fine. You can do this dance. There's nothing here, and yet there's a power lurking. Were you drawn by it as well? No, I was just backtracking, making sure I was trying to find everything. Metacham. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, that's not what I was expecting. Um... Oh, this isn't gonna end very well for you, is it? I should probably switch you out. Yeah, let's switch you out for something that's not so weak to uh, fighting. I think Floaty. Floaty has a lot of defense. It'll be able to handle a hit. Metacham hits pretty hard. Faint, okay. Yeah, I would have been fine. And Alakazam! You know, the sad thing is, I think Acrobatics will actually do more damage <laughs> because of the same type of attack bonus. It does 110 power because I'm not holding an item. And then I also add 50% to that as opposed to doing 140 power effectively with Night Slash. I'm just gonna use Night Slash anyway. It'll be enough. But it is just kind of interesting how strong acrobatics is. It's extremely strong. But again, it does come with that downside of you can't use... Well, I mean, you could hold a held item, but it, you know, will weaken the power and kind of remove the point of it. And it's just a 55 power move. But without a held item, 110 power is insane. I love that move. The power that slumbers within you, it is rather marvelous indeed. Also, I think this is the first time Acrobatics has been a single-use, like, TM, <laughs> you know? Because it was introduced in Gen 5. Or wait, it's not a TM, that's right, my bad. I don't know what I'm thinking. I know that they did make some of them, like Snarl, for instance, that would hold true. Because Snarl was also released in Gen 5, and now it's single-use again. Yeah, I... I don't know. I wish that they'd go back to the TMTR split. I think that was a better way of doing things. Let's use you fidgeting. I haven't used you in a little while. Although you're a psychic, this probably wasn't a good idea. For some reason I was drawn here, and it is here that I met you. I want to know what all this means. It means you are going to be defeated by a frog. By something super weak to psychic. Oh, okay, it's mischievous. This is fine. Well, kind of. I mean, I guess I can't use Drain Punch, and Poison Jab isn't going to do very much. So hopefully Sucker Punch will get the job done. Uh-oh. Well, that's just rude. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, come on! Oh no! Oh, this is bad. Okay, well, um, I guess I'm gonna have to poison jab then. I mean, I guess I could. Nah, you're probably. I don't know. I'm gonna poison jab. Because you're probably gonna go for pain split again. Ooh, poisoned it. Nice. Yep. Oh my gosh. This is annoying. Man, here all I wanted to do was just have fun with my frog. Just have fun. Instead, you gotta be so mean. Why you gotta be that way? Oh, jeez! Oh, no! I've been perish trapped! No! Fidgeting, get out of there! I think I'll be alright, but... <laughs> oh, oh, wow, the poison must have done, like, exactly enough. I thought I'd be just shy. Oh, that was rude. Okay, well, at least Mean Look is worn off now. 
rather than chance it, I'm gonna switch out. Let's switch out for a squawk and just be done with this. Curse? What did I just get done saying about cursing on my channel? How dare you? Ow. <laughs> that looks so painful when a ghost type uses it. Oof. All right, Night Slash and be done with it. Also, Squawk is totally the type of Pokemon who would curse like a sailor. <laughs> You can just tell, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm not teaching him curse, though. That would be very dangerous. I don't even need to. <laughs> I see, so that's what it means. Alright, so... Let's see if I can get past it. Man, it's so hard to see with all these trees and stuff being in 3D. Or treaty. Alright, what is it? It's a Gastrodon! Yeah, so I mean, as you can see, nothing really that exciting. Like a few encounters, but eh, not really anything too cool. But it's all right, we'll find some cool stuff in a little bit. Anyway, there's some berries over here, so I guess that's nice. I would not recommend planting berries here, like replanting them. It's so out of the way to get to. <laughs> Just take these ones and go. So there's two citrus berries. There's three black berries. There's three Nana Berries, and three Weeper Berries. It's actually kind of surprising that there's three berries, because most of the time growing on the trees, there's just two. So I guess that's kind of neat. Roselia, all right. I mean, there's some Pokemon here, but again, it's like, it's stuff you've been able to find before. Even Chatot. Like, I don't think there's anything super fancy here. Now, if there's a swarm, there might be something good. And I haven't even looked to see what you can get with Poke Radar here, too. So that's something to keep in mind. You could backtrack to a lot of older areas and use, like, Poke Radar and stuff like that. Rare Candy! Yay! That's always nice. I have 15 of them stockpiled for some time. Okay, so I think that's actually everything here. So that's pretty cool. Let me go ahead and get out of here. So I guess before I wrap things up... Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm done here. Unless there, oh, well, it just turned to 5 p.m. You can always tell because the sun gets like instantly really harsh like that when it's sunset. Wait, is there anything on the side over here? No, there's not. Okay, so I think I can move along now. So something else that I kind of forgot about in a recent episode of, you know, where to like get new Pokemon, like, you know, new ways of getting Pokemon or things that have changed in post game or after getting the National Pokedex. So for one, there's the Super Rod, which I did point out in the fight area, but I didn't really showcase it. I'm gonna save it for when we actually start going through here though, but just keep that in mind, that is an option. But the one I totally forgot about is the boring, great Marsh game. It's so great, but they did actually add some new Pokemon in there after you get the National Dex. There's quite a few new Pokemon that will show up and it does change daily. So a good way to see what is around there, you can go up here and remember how you got ripped off paying 100 Poke Dollars to see what's in the, the marsh? Well, you're still gonna get ripped off, but it will at least show you some things in the area. I still feel like I'm being ripped off here. Starly, come on, really? But, really? That's it. That's it. Quagsire. Quagsire. Meryl, hi. Azuril. Starly, seriously? Okay, I mean, it, it can show you other Pokemon that are in here. Bidoof. Psyduck. I mean, allegedly. Oh, there we go, Yanma. Okay, so there's a Pokemon that wasn't available previously, and now you can kind of see the area that it's in. So it'll only be in that area. Well, I mean, it might be in others just coincidentally, but like every zone 
has a different potential spawn. I think that rotates every day. I don't know, it's usually not exciting enough to make me go and get it. Like, I think I can still get Yanma down in the, down in the basement, in the, the basement, the grand underground, all right? I think I can get it there, but eh, you know what? Sure, I'll, I'll play a game. I'll suffer, probably run into a shiny Pokemon. It'll run away and I'll cry. I'll regret ever coming in here. But let's see if I can get that Yanma. You know, I could not find a single one. I could not find a single Yanma here. And I've been just walking around in circles the whole time. So, yeah, I got scammed. But the point is, you can still find some Pokemon here that you wouldn't be able to before getting your national Pokedex. So that's a good thing, I guess. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Adventure. See you next time, everyone.